Facing a barrage of questions over South Africa's support for the UN resolution allowing for a no-fly zone over Libya. The resolution did not say <clears throat> NATO must bomb Libya. That's not the resolution. Subsequently, Pretoria insisted the AU roadmap was the only viable solution. This despite some African countries already recognizing Libya's National Transitional Council. Botswana is the only Sadiq country to have broken ranks with the AU. <laughs> Meanwhile, MPs today raised concerns that Julius Malima's call for a regime change there may have damaged relations with Botswana. But the president said historical bonds remain intact. Botswana was the only border and the only route for our freedom fighters over a long period when other routes such as Mozambique's uh, Zimbabwe and Switzerland were not yet open for freedom fighters to use. Zuma says a state visit to Botswana is scheduled for next year. MPs also questioned the president on what actions he'll take against Public Works Minister Gwen Masangu Gabinde following the public protector's reports on two questionable police list deals. All that we are asking and demanding of at this point in time in terms of the parliament of this country is what steps the president is going to take. We expect the president of the country to account to this house today and no later. Thank you. But the Speaker of the National Assembly protected Zuma. The ANC said the two reports are with committees of parliament and they must report to the National Assembly. The public protector's deadline for comment on the report is midnight tonight. Asana Mbeche, CBC News Parliament.